today we are going to be building birdhouses. So this is a really neat project that you can do at home and we have provided the materials for you to do so. So first you want to make sure that you have all your materials laid out. Here I've got a screwdriver, a hammer, I've got the screws, nails, and thumbtacks that we provided for you. I have all the boards here and each board is labeled. So this one's the back, I've got right and left, the top, the front, and the bottom. And so you wanna make sure that you have all those, that you know what they feel like. Uh, each one is a little bit different. So make sure you check those out with your hands. I've also got the directions right here. So first, um, all of the labels will face inward on your box when you're done. And um, all, the all of the boards will be flush at the bottom. So that means that when it's sitting like on the table or something, it's gonna be flat. So the very first thing that you wanna do is to take your front board, which is the one that has a hole in it, and there's a piece of mesh here that, that we have provided for you, and thumbtacks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumbtack and push it into the corner of the mesh so that the mesh is directly underneath the hole on the inside. So make sure that you're on the inside so it's the side that has the label on it. And this is going to help our baby birds get out of the box when they are ready. So you wanna make sure that you get one in each corner of the mesh. The mesh should be lengthwise from top to bottom, so it should be longer going up and down than it is side to side. So once you've done that, then you can also just hit them slightly with a hammer to make sure that they are very secure there. So the next thing that you want to do is find your bottom. So the bottom has four big holes in it that you can feel. Those are drainage holes, just in case some water gets in there. They're also vent holes, so it helps regulate temperature. The uh, label is on the inside, right? First, we're gonna take our left side, so it's got an L on it. And again, it's gonna, the L is gonna face inward. And we are going to line up the L's. So I've got an L on this side, so that's the side that the left side goes on. And you're gonna take your screw and your screwdriver and there's a hole on the outside of the box. And you're going to screw this in real quick here. I know I'm not using proper technique with the screwdriver here, but you can screw this in really quick. The holes should line up. Hmm? So, Make sure, yeah, make sure that your holes are lined up. You can, uh, you can put the screw in to the outside of the box really quick and then you can feel actually when it comes out. And then you can find the hole, might be a little tricky, and then just line that screw up with your hole and then continue twisting it in. And that's the technique that you're gonna use for every screw that you put in here. And this is a great technique to use uh, to practice your wrist motion because screwing is a lot of twisting your wrist. So you wanna get that as tight as you can. No, snug. Okay, snug. You want it to be snug. All right, so it's pretty good there. And the next part is, let me see. We're gonna attach the front to the bottom. So this is the front, it's the part that you have the mesh on. Remember the label and that mesh is gonna be on the inside. So I'm gonna line it up there really quick. And then take another screw. You're gonna start with the hole that's in the middle on the bottom. My directions are flying away. So again, you can just start this without like trying to hold the boards together just until a little bit of that screw comes out the inside. So see, there's a little bit of that screw coming out of the inside, you can feel it. And then you can line that up and finish screwing it in. Again, it's gonna be snug. 
So keep going, just keep screwing all the way until your screw is nice and snug in there. We're almost there. You can even turn it a little on its back if you want. That helps a little with getting it tight in there. All right, so now we've got a side and we've got a front, but we wanna make sure that they don't come apart, right? So we have two more screw holes here on the left side of the front board. So you're gonna take two more screws and they should line up with holes that are on the back board there, that are on the side of the left side board. You can just continue screwing those in Again, this is a great technique oops, for using wrist motion. It's a technique that a lot of kids don't know how to use is this twist of the wrist here. But any way that you can do it works just fine. So I've got one of those screws in and now I'm doing the second one. Almost there. Okay, so those are all snug. You can see that if you look sideways at it, that they're pretty flat to the board there. So that means that they're snug and it's not gonna come apart. So the next one is uh, the backboard. So the backboard is kind of weird uh, because the box is actually gonna only go on the bottom half of the backboard here. There is a large hole on the top and that is where you can put a hanger of some kind when you uh, hang your box up. So this part of the board on the top where that big hole is, that part is not going to be actually like part of the box part. That's just part of um, how you hang it. So we've got a hole here at the bottom in the middle. So the short end on the bottom, there's a hole. And then on the left side of the back, there are two holes and those line up with that left sideboard. So again, I'm gonna turn my box so that it's actually facing, it's on its front now. Um, so that the back is the part that I'm working with here. The back part is up. And I am gonna take my screw. I'm gonna do the middle bottom screw first. So I'm gonna screw it in just a little bit. Again, just to make sure that I've got a little bit of that screw popping out the back, and I'm actually going to do all three of them that way before I actually like finish attaching it. So, oh, I am backwards. Hang on. I started putting the screws in the wrong side of my board. So I'm going to unscrew them, and to unscrew them, you just twist the screwdriver the other way. And, come on. All right, flip the board over. So remember, this label here, the label that's in Sharpie is gonna be on the inside. So your screws, you want those to be screwed in from the outside. And yes, that was my mistake. So again, I'm just gonna screw these in just until the tip of the screw pops out on the inside of the board, the side with the label, just a little bit. All right, and I'll get my third one in here. All right, so now this will line up where we've got this one for the middle on the, cent the center on the bottom and then two for the side. So they will line up with holes that are already there on the second board that the screw goes into. So we're gonna finish screwing those in. And again, you want these to be snug. Don't want it coming apart by accident. I got my middle one there. So I'm just gonna use a different technique because my wrist is starting to hurt. All right, 
that one is snug. One more for the back here. Almost there. All right, so that one is snug too. So the next part is I'm going to lay this so that the left side is on the table. So that I'm looking at the right side that's gonna be on the top right here. I'm gonna take my board that's for the right. It's got an R on it. And again, that label is gonna go in the, in the, toward the center of the box. So I'm going to put my screw in real quick, just again, so that the tip of it is poking out of the inside. A little bit more. This just makes it easier to help you line up those holes. So now there's a hole right here that I'm going to slide this board, maybe. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so if this happens, so this is a little bit too tight right now for this board to slide in here nicely. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to loosen either the front or the back board just a little bit just unscrew just a tiny bit each screw there and then you can see it moves a little bit right there so that means that I can now slide this right in there and that screw should line up with the hole. And this one does not have to be snug. The right uh, bottom screw does not have to be all that snug. So now I'm gonna go back and tighten up these screws one more time. So the last thing is now we're gonna take our nails here. So this is just to make like the box part. We'll put the top on after I'm done here. So these nails are actually gonna go in the top of the right side of both box, of, um, yeah. So the, the top hole on the right side board here. There should be holes and this you're gonna use the hammer for. So this is to make sure that our right side is going to pivot outwards. It's gonna like rotate on those uh, nails there. So I'm just gonna gently, you, know, you can hold that nail or you can, you can put it right in that, in that hole and then hold it a little bit and then tap really gently and then go a little bit harder. That sounds pretty good there. It's not quite flush, but you know, that's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm gonna take my other nail, which this one doesn't seem to actually have a head on it, but oh well. And I'm gonna use, put this in the hole that's on the front instead. And do the same thing. That's the loudest part of this video, I hope. <laughs> so now we have the completed box part, and now we're gonna put the top on. So the top, it's got a T on it. I've also written back and front on it. So the back is going to go towards your backboard. So the big part that's sticking up, that's got a big old hole in it. And the front is gonna overhang the front of the board where your entrance hole is, okay? So we're gonna take a screw, so first, yeah. and then once again, I've put the label on the outside. Make sure your label is on the inside. So you're gonna take your screw, and there's a hole on the flat, the big flat part of that top board. You're gonna put that screw right in there, and this is attaching the top, the roof, to the front board. 
I'm going to screw that all the way down. You want this one to be snug as well. All right, and then the last screw goes in the back here. So in the center on the back, there's a small hole that's kind of underneath that big hanging hole. So you're just going to put your screw in that hole and it should line up with a hole that's on that roof part. Mm -mm. It doesn't? Push it. So you wanna make sure that your roof is flat to your sideboards there so that it's all snug together. There shouldn't be too many spaces between all the boards here. The only space that you're gonna want in this, you want it to be fairly uh, sealed and snug. The only space between the boards that you're gonna want is a little bit of space right here on the top of the right side and that just helps when you're swinging the board in and out like this, that um, it doesn't get too stuck or anything. So now you have a completed birdhouse. And just to test it, I am going to unscrew the right sideboard at the bottom. That's the only screw that's in that right sideboard. So I'm gonna unscrew it just a little bit here. It doesn't have to come all the way out, but you should be able to open this up and it swings just like that. So this is how you're going to check your birdhouse for, um, for nests. So if there's a nest in it, you're gonna wanna monitor it maybe. Uh, and at the end of the breeding season for these birds, you're gonna wanna clean that box out so that there isn't like dead moldy stuff in there um, over the winter. So you can clean your box out that way and you can check on your birds really carefully. Um, so yeah, so, and then once you're done checking it or cleaning it or whatever, you can just screw that right back in. So that is how you make a birdhouse. And, uh, at the very bottom, the last step on your instructions say to go to the Cornell Lab of, of Ornithology website, and you can check out how you can hang your birdhouse and how to monitor birds in, in your house and maybe identify them. And you can also visit nestwatch.org if you want to participate in citizen science and, uh, and check out your birdhouses like that. So thank you for watching.